hello welcome back to another rust toy reviews video and welcome back to some more loyal subjects tmnt figures uh, big thanks to the loyal subjects for sending these out these are the pixelated video game versions of leonardo raf or says just leo arcade game raf arcade game donnie and mikey right over there and looking pretty interesting so far uh, on the side you can see all the pixelated turtles right there and they have their associated color background with each one and then you can see on the back you can see 3d renders of the accessories that come with each of the figures right over there pretty cool not lined up and framed properly but you get the idea nothing on the sides right over there and on the top you get the tmnt logo right there for each of them and then a bunch of barcode and warning stuff at the bottom all right very interested in the ankles on these things because the last ones didn't have ankle pivot so i'm very curious all right let's get to it and open these things and here's all four figures out of the boxes and these look pretty good i, I gotta say i do like these figures not my absolute favorite tmnt figures but i do enjoy them I do have my gripes, which I will get into. Now, each of them comes with two heads, three sets of hands, their staple weapons or their iconic weapons, and then their bonus accessories. So uh, let's get a closer look, starting with Donatello, just because there's just a lot of Donatello fans coming out of nowhere for some reason. It seems like every other person is saying that Donatello is the best turtle. And I'm like, what? where's all this Donatello love coming from? He's... By far the the worst turtle no he's not <laughs> leonardo's the best turtle and uh, everybody else is second there is no worst so nice wrap right over there and you can see the purple on it which i do kind of like having that feature and the digitized pixelated look or it's not digitized it's a pixelated look is uh pretty sweet on these i, I do like it. it it's much more detailed Compared to the NECA Toys version, you can see we get three different tones of green on these. So really nice paint apps. Uh, the front shell has some nice colors on it. And you get your iconic D for Donatello. And you can see that uh, the belt has to be attached on the very back over here. That's a little bit frustrating. That's one of the downsides, I think. Uh, looking on the back, you can see we get three different browns. So that's really cool. And I think the paint apps are more or less the same on all of the figures. Let's see, this looks like a fox face or something right there. Let's see if we see that on another right thigh. But yeah, the details look good. I really like the paint apps on these. Uh, the articulation can be a little bit frustrating, which I'll get into a little bit more later on. And he comes with the interchangeable smiley head right over there. And then uh, you get the three interchangeable hands. Uh, they all have vertical hinges on them. So you can see fisted hands, wide open hands, and weapon holding hands. And then Donatello comes with an extra slice of pizza with no crust. Extra cheese, but no crust it looks like. It's just cheese all over the place. So he has yellow at the bottom right over there. And then moving on to Raphael. Uh, this is just the regular head for Raphael. Okay, and he comes with... Uh, ninja star and uh, this uh, knife or bladed weapon right over here with the white paint on it looking pretty cool and then you can see the figure itself right over here he has this alternate head and he comes with his size looking pretty good uh, they fit in the hands loosely but you know he holds them okay and they're the same size as we'd seen before except um, you know these are much more realistic shinier silver paint brown and yellow so these are definitely more uh, for the arcade game look, much more cartoon looky, uh, much more cartoon looking. And then do we have that fox face? Yeah, so we get the same digitized pattern throughout on these figures. So the paint scheme doesn't change, but the sculpts are different. And again, you have to port this on. Uh, it's a little bit easier on some of them, a little bit more difficult on others. You're going to go for the darker brown uh, for being on the bottom. But you can do it. Uh, my five-year-old did it i did share these with my kids because they love ninja turtles already and uh these were ones that i felt okay to share with the kids uh with my supervision of course and leo looks awesome the katanas or the swords look great and he has his own storage right over here this has always been the trickiest one for me getting that lined up uh, i feel like it's a little low but you know they, they all go around the waist and we don't have the shoulder strap on this one but not bad looking 
There's a turtle toes right there again. And, oh, his bonus accessory is the sewer. So he comes with the sewer cover, sewer cover right there. And same sets of hands and everything. Uh, none of them have uh, horizontal hinges, which would have been nice. We'll get into the articulation more in a little bit, and then you could see right here. And uh, we did take these with us when we were driving uh, over to the East Bay for Thanksgiving. And I brought these in the car ride, and my oldest was able to take everything out and then put everything back in the box like it was brand new. I was just so damn proud. Uh, we don't get any bendy wire or anything like that with the nunchucks, but, you know, these are pliable enough where you can make it work. Nice detailed wrap in the sculpt right over there. I dig that. And then Mikey has this interchangeable head right over here. Swapping the heads can be just a little bit tricky. Yeah, you may want to heat them up first. And I wish they gave us a little bit more clearance on the inside of the heads right there. I'll get into that in just a moment. Then you have the grapple right here. Troll grapple with the rope. No bendy wire or anything. This is all stationary right over here. Uh, so let's get into the articulation. So this is my second channel and this is my second favorite Ninja Turtle. So he'll get all the love. Uh, I wish we had neck hinges right here for the heads. You can turn side to side and there is a little bit of head pivoting in there. You can get them to look up just a little and down just a little. So I wish, yeah, we had way more movement because the rest of the figure has really good articulation surprisingly good articulation you have butterfly joints right here they don't shift up and down but they do move forward and back uh, the shoulders will move almost at 90 degrees getting move, moving outwards they move in all the way rotate a full 360 bicep swivel uh, the double jointed elbows only bend in that much a little on the clunky side as you can see that doesn't really look appealing to me they rotate side to side hinge up and down if you don't pop it off but yeah, see, it'll move up and down. Now, what's really interesting over here is the torso articulation and shell articulation. You get a diaphragm joint inside there, uh, but you also have a shell attached to a ball joint that's also attached to a hinge. So you can shift this up and down and you can turn the, tur uh, the shell side to side and rotate it a little bit. So there's actual turtle shell movement going on here and I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, you have that diaphragm joint that can turn side to side. It pivots a little bit. You don't get any crunching for it. Well, it wobbles forward and back just a tad. Hips will move outward pretty far. Uh, when they kick forward, they'll splay outward and to the side, and that's annoying. I don't like that. They move back. Birth eye cut. Uh, double jointed knees. Ankles do move down, and they do move up a little bit. And there is ankle pivot in there. It's just got a weird angle. I feel like... That pin is just kind of facing the wrong direction on the inside of that thing. So that does frustrate me a bit. I wish I can get the legs a little bit closer together over here. But let's go ahead and measure out this figure and compare him to some other Raphael figures. So getting the measuring tape out here, you can see that he is standing at about five inches tall. These are smaller figures for sure. And then uh, getting the uh, Letterman jacket Raphael over here, uh, you can see that these do stand at the same height, so not looking too bad. Here is a NECA Toys arcade Raphael right over there, so you can see that this one has a lot more of the pixelated detail throughout on it compared to this one right over here. And then to get this mean Raphael next to another green meanie, we have the Marvel Legends big time letdown. Spider-Man. So that is it. These things are priced out, I think, very fairly at 20 bucks a pop. And with all the accessories that you're getting over here for for 20 bucks, uh, I think I think it's pretty I think it's pretty solid. I'm not saying it feels like an incredible deal, you know, but you know, with the accessories and stuff and the articulation that I'm seeing over here, these are fun figures. I don't know if they're the absolute like premium TMNT figures to get because they are missing points of articulation that I'd like to see. However, I think they're fun. If you wanted to share these with your kids, if you have kids and you want to share them with your kids or you just want to have a figure that, you know, I don't know, pocket figure or something like that, you know, that you're not really going to be, um, you know, super careful with and you just want to have some fun with it, well... You can. So up to what you need your figures for, don't need your figures for. It's all up to you. But regardless, thanks so much to the loyal subjects for sending out these samples. I, I'm 
been excited to look at these. I've been curious about them. So, and uh, I'd like to know what you think. So leave a comment down below and hit hit that like button and stay tuned for another Rust Toy Reviews video coming your way shortly. Or you can go check out the Shardimus Prime Reviews. Either way, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.